Welcome to Wayne's Weird World. Yes, Gus. No, do not sit on my hellebore. Try not to step on it. Ah. Ooh. My irises are starting to show their, their heads. Uh, I've already spotted a few little, little spikes of my jonquils and daffodils and things back there. There's a hellebore here. Daphne there. And you are going to be in the way. No, you're wet and dirty. Thankfully, I've got garden clothes on, so it doesn't matter. No, you're not hopping in my lap. No. Nope. All right, I'll have to mix up more potting mix. This one distinctly looks delicatum ish. New growth coming up here. And an aphid, you little shits. It's the aphids that are causing so much trouble. And that's why I'm getting a lot of these out of the greenhouse. Because I consider them expendable. Unnamed varieties. Even a blade of grass coming up through the middle of it. So, uh, can't keep putting out new roots. So, uh, I don't know. Whether they survive in the trees or not is not a major concern. And this is what I was mentioning about the spottiness of the leaf. Because, yep, there they are. Aphids in the middle of it. And they can also spread virus. And when they bite into the leaf, they suck the cells dry and you end up with the spottiness in your leaves. Which is not a guarantee that it's going to be, uh, oh, look at all the aphids there, that uh, you've got virus. But it can be rather confusing. And you don't want to start throwing everything out just because of some spottiness. There's plenty of uh, plenty of ladybugs around here. We call them here in Australia ladybirds. This is oh look at that black aphids. I don't know if you can see that. Let's try and get it. Oh my knee, my knee, my knee, my knee, my knee. Look at that. Yep. Whoop! Broke that top off. That's all right. Yeah. Trouble. Yep. I'll try and remember to come back out here and spray. I'll just use a white oil. And uh, out here, there's always going to be plenty of aphids in, uh, in amongst the roses and other stuff. So they're always going to cop it. But also, there's lace wings and uh, ladybirds. And uh, no, that's not your bed, Gus. What do we have here? Yep. Some people just call them black fly, but it's actually aphid. No scale, but uh, yeah, I think they'll be happier out here. And if they survive, like I said, that's good. And if they don't, oh well. A couple of keikis that fell off. I don't know which one they came from. It doesn't matter. Beer over here. Look out! I'm just going to mix up the lot. Carefully. 
proportion. <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, I'll mix those up and let's see what we've got here. We'll uh, decide. Look, you've got to go. Go on. I know you want to be next to me. I know you love your cuddles, but no, go away. Go away. Where's the rabbit? Go get the rabbit. No, it's over there. Away. Yeah, too deep. That, that'll do. That'll do for one of them. No, too narrow. That's the big one. I could put a couple in there. That's a good size. And that one. Yeah, yep. I think I'll put a couple in here. Roll it down. It seemed to work better with the cymbidiums if I roll the top down. All right. Uh, those gloves are wet. All right. First things first. Oh, away! Go on. You want to be right underfoot. Sorry, mate. Ooh. Look, look, look. No, not, not look for you, because always... That's what I say when there's food. Look at that. Nice growth there. That can go in one of the small bags. I might also uh, check out some of these birch trees over here in my forest. And uh, consider pumping a few of these. The root system on, on this one looks a lot healthier than the wet cymbidium root systems. Yeah. More mosquitoes! Woohoo! Damp, damp winter weather. Here's a here's a nice big one. What do we got in here? Look out, Gus. Away. Oh, oh look. No, not not you. I don't know if you can see it. Those are lace wing egg cases. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ha. Ooh. So that pot, I'm gonna hang in a tree upside down like that. So it stays dry for the winter. And where do I put it for the moment? Here, on this old bench which needs rebuilding before it rots away and somebody has an accident sitting down. The cast iron, I'll uh, sandblast and paint and the timber easily replaced. This is another very healthy one. Oh, just a couple little aphids in there. Nothing on the new growth. That's good. Yep. Nice and healthy, that. That's good. A little kick in the middle. I'll just leave you there. No, oh, look out! No uh, lace wings on the pot. Good. Yeah, that was the old part, but the new roots are looking very healthy. Good, 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 good. All right. Yep. Rolling the tops down is working a lot better. Put a small scoop or two of potty mix before I tie them in, and uh, hopefully, I'll do it all. Okay. 
Okay, that's two. Not that long. No more cookies. No mosquitoes, too. It's not really. Ooh. Broke off, but it's got some roots on it, so I'm just going to shove that together in this bag. I might bag them all up to see how well they do. What? Why don't you? No, 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 get away. Go look for a rabbit. Where's a rabbit? Or a rat? Oh, very warm and it's not really cold. It's it's mild and humid. I'm starting to sweat. Oh, those beanies gotta go. Oh, this is my battle scar side. Woohoo! Mm. Yep, mosquitoes hovering around. All right, I'm gonna throw all these in. Nice new growth coming up. A little spot that might be scale. Little black bits that. Aphids. I'm gonna have to remind myself to come out here and spray these little bastards. Oh, did I say that? I apologize to uh, to one of my viewers who, uh, who couldn't hear very well what I was mumbling about. Well, mumbling I might, but uh, I'm only using a very cheap. Uh, Samsung A12 phone and it's got a built-in microphone and I've destroyed my other phones inadvertently and uh, I just make do with what I've got and when I do have a, a bit of spare spare money I tend to buy orchids <laughs> Because I'm a retired pensioner, ex high school art teacher, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I don't have a lot of money to throw around. But I don't have a mortgage. No, go away. And all of this land, 2.2 acres, all of these trees are trees that I planted. Well, not as healthy as the other ones, but it's still putting on new growth. There's a new growth, new root system, promising, and kekis. Kekis are also, also sometimes a result of, uh, of stress, where uh, their roots have rotted off and they're trying to survive. And, Mumble, mumble, mumble. Aphids, oh, I love them. Okay. Now, let's get that out of the way. Those are ready to go. And I'll shove in the, the kickies and that one. More kickies over here. <laughs> Which one? Closest one. Okay, pop them in. And uh, I'll put a bit of potty mix in them. And we'll be fine. Yes, Gus. We want 
your attention. Okay. I think I might have overfilled this. <laughs> yeah, I was hell. So I think I better top up some of these bags because uh, I'm not going to have any room otherwise. The trouble is the bags don't really require a lot of potting mix. I think these orchids are going to be a lot happier. Free draining. Dendrobium king yams are Australian natives anyway, and they grow in the uh, crotch of trees, fallen logs, rocks, but they don't grow in soil. That's not their natural habitat. They don't grow in plastic pots. That's not their normal, their normal habitat. So if you really want to uh, know how to look after your orchids, do a bit of reading and look for that key word, habitat. Find out where they grow, the temperature range, and uh, the requirements. And that little bag is starting to, to fill up quite nicely. Ha, 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 ha. That's one. I might only I might only put two of them in there. Guess who spilled the beer? Thanks, Gus. sitting with his bum right up next to it. It's not me, Dad. Okay. I'll take it out of your pay. Because you're not going after after rabbits and rats, so like you're supposed to. You can always go rat around and in the old chook shed for uh, to see if there's any rats hiding. Yep. I think I'm only going to put two of them in here. And uh, I might even change my mind and only put one. Yep. People have an obsession with plastic pots and they keep their orchids indoors. Well, yes, some of them are tropical or warm growing ones. Phalaenopsis. They grow them by the millions in Southeast Asia and sell them off to uh, you know, these supermarkets, grocery stores, and whatever, whatever. And people buy them because they're pretty. And then they die. And they throw them out. Where, if they knew what they were doing, or took the time to, uh, to find out what was going on, they would easily last more than one season. And the fact that they, uh, they will grow, yep, two. They will grow on trees. They like to have their roots out in the open where there's plenty of air. And, uh, but people like them in their home. They're cute. And they oftentimes overwater them 
We'll leave them on a windowsill where there's too much sun during the day and they get too cold at night and they wonder why they die. They're uh, in their natural habitat. The temperatures would be very stable. Look out, you. Okay. I'll go. Mumble, mumble, mumble. I actually downloaded a program the other day for editing. Not because I want to do quick fast forwards and fancy titles and stuff like that. It's just that I had one video that was so long that uh, the majority of it was absolutely batshit boring. If you didn't hear that, fine. <laughs> If you did, good. Yep. If all goes well, these things will uh, will dig in another techie. Shut it in. But they'll uh, they'll latch on. And uh, as the Hessian starts to uh, break down, I can uh, remove this fish line. And that's, a that's why I use fish line. I don't use a lot of these things like wires and so forth because they're hard to remove. Where this, all I have to do is make a little cut and I can start sliding it through even a very congested root system. I think that might be about it. I think this might be about it. Worm? Oh yeah, good enough. Once around this branch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. Another keki. A few in. Oh. Money, money. Okay. A series of half hitches. And, uh, I'll hold it. I'll leave the tail. That's it. That bit's done. Now I go look for something else. A birch tree or some somewhere else. Ah. Wayne's weird world. Last mouthful, I think. Two mouthfuls. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's me. I'm over it. That's it. Wayne's Weird World. King Adams in an ash tree. See ya.